Blessed greetings, my dear friends. May the grace and peace of Jesus Christ be with you all. I don't know about you, but I get somewhat annoyed when I receive a really good Christian message on one of the social media platforms, and it's ruined by saying, if you are not ashamed of Jesus Christ, then pass this message on. And they quote from Scripture, from Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, verse 26, which says, and I paraphrase, that if you are ashamed of me, says Jesus, then I will be ashamed of you before our Heavenly Father. No, I don't believe that is the right thing to do or say. Because what does it instill in us? It often instills fear in us, perhaps guilt, maybe even doubt. And those three traits all come from the devil. They are not of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so I share with you two verses from the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed through faith for faith, as it is written, the one who is righteous will live by faith. A message of joy and of astounding good news. So, quite rightfully, Paul says, why be ashamed? In fact, if we go back one verse to verse 15, he says that there's an eagerness within him to proclaim the gospel. And I agree with Paul. Why be ashamed? I enjoy it and I'm eager to share the message with whoever is prepared to listen. I'm sometimes deeply saddened when people will not accept the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news. But then I hope and pray that I have sown a seed and at some time down the line, that seed will come to fruition. And so why does Paul say he's not ashamed? Well, I'd like to share four reasons very briefly from this passage that I read a short while ago. First of all, he says, it is the power of God. And that must be good news. The power of God to transform lives. And he would know very dearly about that. When he thinks of his Damascus Road experience that we read about in chapter 9 of the book of Acts, where he went from persecutor of the Christians to an evangelist, arguably the greatest evangelist of all times. He also saw the power of God in that he didn't receive any of the message of Jesus Christ from human beings. No, he got it through revelation through Jesus Christ, as we read about in Galatians 1, chapter, sorry, uh, verse 12. Remembering that at the time there were no Gospels, so he heard about the Gospel of Jesus Christ through the power of God. And then secondly, he tells us that it brings salvation, and that is something certainly not to be ashamed of. For those who live by faith. And he's not talking only about the justification, the once-off time that we receive salvation through believing in Jesus Christ, through giving our lives to Jesus Christ. No, he's talking about ongoing salvation, sanctification as it is called. Growing in holiness day by day as we journey with Jesus Christ. Freed from the bondage and the guilt of sin, the gift of forgiveness and assurance that we are children of God. That's nothing to be ashamed of. And fourthly, he, sorry, thirdly, he tells us that it empowers us by faith to live daily in the gospel, not just every now and then, the good news is the gospel is with us day by day. 
We need not be ashamed of it. In fact, we must share it with others and be an example to others by living the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then fourthly and finally, he says it's for all people, for good news. And therefore, none is excluded. We need to take it to all people, to share it in all circumstances. Perhaps even when we feel a bit timid and apprehensive about sharing it, not knowing what the reaction will be. And so now, my dear friends, we must never be ashamed of the gospel. We need to go out and proclaim it eagerly and boldly, wherever we go and with whomever we can. As the righteousness of Jesus Christ, we have the power of Christ within us to overcome all adversities by faith and to make a difference to the lives of others. Now you all have a very spirit-filled week sharing the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ. There is none like it. Amen.